In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 10, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Marquette vs. Creighton The Big East quarterfinals will feature a key battle between the Marquette Golden Eagles and Creighton Blue Jays on Thursday afternoon at Madison Square Garden. Marquette is the number 5 seed at 19-11, after winning its regular season finale 85-77 over the St. John's Red Storm last Saturday to cover as a 4-point home favorite. Fourth-seeded Creighton dropped a 65-60 home contest to the Seton Hall Pirates on Saturday, failing to cover as a 1.5 points favorite while moving to 20-10 overall. These teams met twice in the regular season, with Creighton pulling off the season sweep behind a 75-69 double overtime win in Milwaukee on New Year's Day followed by an 83-82 home win on February 20th. Creighton has won six of the last seven meetings, but Marquette leads 39-19 all-time. While Creighton had a strong season, the injury to its starting point guard Nembard comes at a brutal time, and the offense has not been flowing in the three games since. That will make a huge difference for Marquette here after the two regular season meetings between these two came right down to the wire, and the superior offense for the Golden Eagles will come out on top. This was already not a strong Blue Jays offense due to its sub-300 ranking in both three-point shooting and turnover rate, both things that only get worse without the floor general Nembhard. Marquette is the far better shooting team after leading the Big East with a 54 effective field goal percentage during conference play, and the Golden Eagles also take care of the ball well so all those extra possessions will add up. The way to beat Marquette is to dominate the glass, but Creighton is only a mediocre rebounding team with Kalkbrenner standing out on the offensive boards. Creighton is averaging just over 0.9 points per possession since Nembhard went down, and that won't be enough to beat a well-rounded Marquette team. It is never fun betting against Shaka Smart in March, and I think this Marquette team is built for tournament play. It is going to be a difficult postseason for Creighton without Nembhard in the lineup, and I don't know the Blue Jays have enough offensively to compete in this one. So Marquette to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Creighton is an NCAA tournament contention due to a stellar defense that ranks 26th in Ken Palm efficiency and 16th in effective field goal percentage allowed. The Golden Eagles do plenty of things well offensively, but are still just 59th in Ken Palm as they don't get many second opportunities at 328th in rebounding rate while also producing very little at the free throw line. Marquette is more efficient on the defensive end as well, and the fact that it is 36th in two-point field goal percentage against as huge as Creighton is not a good perimeter shooting team. Both regular season games between these teams went over the betting total, but one required double overtime to do so, and Nembhard's injury has changed the equation since. In the last three games, Creighton has scored below 65 points. Even though they dropped over 80 points in the last match against the Golden Eagles, I do not expect them to replicate that since the under has cashed in the last two of three games in the series. The total has gone under in eight of Creighton's last 12 games, so under the projected total is our full game total pick. Missouri vs. LSU, it's championship week on the college hardwood, which brings us to the Sunshine State for the Southeastern Conference Tournament. The 12th-seeded Missouri Tigers are the road team as they take on the 5th-seeded LSU Tigers in a second-round matchup Thursday afternoon. Missouri advanced to the second round as they dropped 13th-seeded Ole Miss 72-60 in the opening round Wednesday evening. LSU edged Alabama 80-77 in overtime at home Saturday in their regular season finale. In the all-time series between the teams, LSU LSU owns a 10-2 advantage and have won the last seven matchups. That includes a 75-55 home win in the lone meeting this season February 26th. The LSU Tigers are 29-14-1 against the spread in their last 44 Thursday games, but this feels like too many to lay in a tournament game. Missouri will go down swinging here even though the Tigers are 3-12 against the spread in their last 15 games following a straight-up win. The underdog is also 7-2-1 against the spread in the last 10 meetings. LSU to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Missouri is 159th in offensive efficiency, 202nd in effective field goal percentage defense, 
132nd in defensive efficiency, 301st in three-point shooting defense, and 162nd in two-point shooting defense on the year. The Tigers are 268th in tempo with an average of 65.7 possessions a night. Despite their strong offensive numbers this season, LSU has stayed under the number in 19 of their 31 games on the year. Most of that can be attributed to stiff defensive metrics. According to Ken Palm, the Tigers are fifth in the nation in defensive efficiency, 11th in effective field goal percentage defense, 4th in turnover percentage, 5th in 3-point defense, and 116th in 2-point field goal percentage defense this season. LSU plays at an above-average tempo as they are 98th with 68.8 possessions a night. LSU's defensive work gets the job done and helps keep this one under the number. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Nevada vs. Boys State The Nevada Wolfpack gets set to take on the Boys State Broncos with an overall record of 13-17. Team rankings power rankings place Wolfpack as the 118th best team in college basketball. In their last game, Nevada defeated New Mexico by a score of 79-72. So far, Nevada has a below .500 record on the road, sitting at 3-9-0. The Boys State Broncos come into this game with an overall record of 24-7. According to Team Rankings Power Rankings, the Broncos are the 46th best team in college basketball. Although the Broncos are 1-4 against the spread in their last five games following and against the spread win, they are 4-1 against the spread in their last five neutral side games. The Wolfpack are 5-13 against the spread in their last 18 games versus a team with a winning straight-up record and are 1-7 against the spread in their last eight games following a straight-up win. Heading into this game, the Broncos may be averaging fewer points per game than the Wolfpack. However, the strength of Boys State's team is their defense. So far, the two teams have played two times, with the Broncos winning each game. I expect this to happen again, as the Wolfpack have yet to figure out Boys State's defense. On the season, the Broncos' opponents are averaging just 22 made field goals per game, 33rd best in college basketball. Boys to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Broncos come into the game, giving up just 61 points per game, 12th best in the NCAA. A key to their defensive success is their ability to pair a slow average pace with a defensive efficiency rank, placing them near the top of college basketball teams. Given that this will be these two teams' third matchup, I expect to see a defensive struggle. Boys State has a strong defense and it is well rested so I can see them shutting down a Nevada offense that has struggled over the second half of the season. They also allowed the Wolfpack to score just 68.5 PPG in the two meetings this year. The Broncos are not a strong offensive team and they also play at a slow pace, ranking 311th in tempo this year. I understand that Nevada's defense has been porous this year but I also see boys building a nice lead and then taking the air out of the ball. The Broncos have allowed just 62.4 PPG in league play and I see their defense stealing the show in this one which will keep the point total low. Lastly, the under is 8-3 in Nevada's last 11 games following a straight-up win and 5-2 in Boys State's last seven versus a team with a losing straight-up record. In this Mountain West tournament matchup between Boys State and Nevada, look for this to be a low-scoring game. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.